Russia's nuclear exercises show its problems at front in Ukraine, expert Pavlo Lakichuk, head of security programs at the Center for Global Studies Strategy 21 of Ukraine, believes that the announced Russian tactical nuclear weapons exercises indicate that Russia is losing the war with Ukraine. He expressed this opinion on Espresso TV. I don't believe in any red lines drawn by the Russians. They always raise the stakes, regardless of the red lines they once drew there. In particular, they use rate increases when they lose. That is why I am convinced that the main purpose of the announced tactical nuclear weapons exercises is a banal muscle play. Moscow is trying to demonstrate its power and capabilities of its nuclear forces, explained Lakichuk. According to the expert, any military exercises in Russia threaten to escalate the war. In any case, this is just a drill, even if the Russians are trying to demonstrate their military might. However, the personnel during these exercises are practicing the skills of using certain weapons. And this is a certain danger, he added. Russian President Vladimir Putin ordered a snap exercise in the House of Tactical Nuclear Weapons in the Southern Military District, which borders Ukraine. The drill is intended as a warning to the US and its allies not to escalate the Ukraine conflict any further, both the foreign and defense ministries in Moscow emphasized in public statements. The purpose of the drills is to iron out the practical aspects of the preparation and deployment of non-strategic nuclear weapons, as well as to strengthen the readiness of both equipment and personnel in order to ensure the integrity and sovereignty of Russia, the Russian defense ministry said. The exercises will take place in the southern military district, which directly bought Orders Ukraine. Tactical nuclear warheads with yields of 5 to 50 kilotons can be mounted on 9M7231 ballistic missiles or the 9M728 cruise missiles, both fired from the Iskander M complex. Similar warheads can be carried by KH-47M2 Kinzel and KH-32 cruise missiles that are carried by Russian bombers. Two people were killed after a flash flood caused by continuous heavy rain hit Xinxi City, South China's Guangxi Zhuang Autonomous Region. This was reported by local authorities. It was reported that the rescuers found two missing people. Despite providing medical assistance to the injured, it was not possible to save their lives. At present, search and rescue and elimination of the consequences of the disaster are ongoing. Besides, major rivers, waterways, and reservoirs in China's Guangdong province are threatening to unleash dangerous floods, forcing the government to enact emergency response plans to protect more than 127 million people, calling the situation grim. Local weather officials said sections of rivers and Tributaries at the Xijiang and Beijing River basins are hitting water levels in a rare spike that only has a 1 in 50 chance of happening in any given year, state broadcaster CCTV News said. Guangdong officials urged departments in all localities and municipalities to begin emergency planning to avert natural disasters and promptly disperse disaster relief funds and materials to ensure affected people have food, clothing, water, and somewhere to stay. The province, a major exporter and one of China's main commercial and trading centers, has seen major downpours and strong winds for several days, in a weather pattern which has also affected other parts of China. Yeah, 